And I think Martin is ready for us now. Let's get down onto the grid. Martin. Thank you, Steve. Well, it's a very short run from the front of the grid down into the first corner there. And often we've seen a lot of dramas at the start of Grand Prix. Now, we've, these Renaults are mighty off the start. It's the second phase where they really seem to get away better than anybody else. They leave the line about the same speed, and then they just accelerate and take off, and there's still more than enough space for them to get the job done on the way down. Now, it's super hot on the track, much hotter than anything we saw during qualifying. You can feel it through the soles of your feet, and uh, blistering of the tyres and uh, brakes are going to be a key issue. And Pat Simmons was just saying to me, what do you think some teams may have... Uh, not allowed enough for is the fact that they do so many laps those top 10 in the third phase of qualifying and they're not allowed to change the brakes so they're asking ever more of them this afternoon now let's see if we can find a driver they're just warming up the Renault here to uh, I don't think Fizzy's back on the grid yet an amazing amount of gubbins that they that they bring uh, onto the grid look at this little trolley here just full of generators spare set of tires they've got uh, obviously they're still heating them as hard as they can to, uh, despite this amazing track temperature, they want to still put uh, as hot a tyre as they can on, and also Alonso will be uh, putting as much energy into those brake discs you can see at the back of the car there. So generally quite a lot of servicing going on here. The McLaren, what a beautiful piece of kit that is, the absolute canine undercarriage of a racing car and a colour scheme. But uh, Raikkonen then is the man who's got the best grandstand seat to see just how well the Renaults get off the line. Jano truly in fourth. Now, I think he could be a real spoiler today for the uh, Ferrari team. He's really put in a stunning lap. I don't know if we can find him anywhere on the grid. Jano, is he around? Can you see him? No, Jano truly's off the grid. And uh, let's have a little look for Nico Rosberg because uh, he seemed to be in the wars a little bit. Here he is, looking extremely cool. You're looking cool, calm and collected, Nico. Um, no, it's going to be an inter interesting race. I mean, qualifying went really well for me yesterday, so starting sixth, I hope that we can uh, achieve some good things today. Good stuff. Now, you were in the wars a little bit. You know, they were having a bit of a moan about you in, in qualifying. I, don't get, I guess you don't care much. Um, not, well, yes, of course. You've got you to gotta try and uh, not do these kind of things. But in the end, uh, Barrichello said something he got through, so it wasn't a problem. But I need to be careful in future. And, and with Mark, it didn't really cost him that much. It cost him a tenth and a half, and it, it wouldn't have changed anything for him. So, um, I mean, I've learned also that in this sport, you've got to be a bit of an egoist to uh, achieve things. Because uh, I've been too nice in the past, and then you get, you get hammered. So... Um, that's the way to go. Every man for himself and what goes around comes around. So uh, it's pretty hot out there today. Are you expecting a tough race? Um, yeah, of course, it's going to be tough. Yeah, I think so. And um, we, we got to see the tyres are a bit of an unknown situation at the moment still. So I hope that they go well and uh, we'll see. We're looking forward to watching you. Let's, uh, here's a, an interesting little guy. Frankie Miniz, Malcolm in the middle, uh, maybe the younger generation watching the programme today. And uh, Cody Banks as well from the movies. Now, you're... You're a movie star, you're just 21 years old, but you want to be a racing driver. Yeah, I've uh, put acting on hold for right now, and I'm, I'm racing in the Formula BMW series, and I uh, hope to be here one day, but uh, we'll see. I, I, I raced this morning and yesterday here, and it, it's awesome. I have so much fun. How did it go? It went well. I had a really good start, and in like, the third lap, my teammate crashed me, but uh, other than that, it was great. I, I learned a lot you know, in the four laps I got to run, but it, it was fun. Okay, and you'll really give up movies for... Uh for racing driving well you know this is this is a lot more fun <laughs> you know it's a totally different world but it's a it, i love it and uh, I, I i'd love to be able to do it so we'll see. okay good stuff and you're with red bull today i believe so you're you're fighting for those guys yeah scott speed american <laughs> all right good luck great to see you let's just see if we can find jensen budden before we head back to uh steve is he yeah, here he is look jens Quick word. I know we spoke to you earlier in the program. Just find how's the track looking out there. You've done the reconnaissance lap. Any uh, any more news for us just before the off? No, it's nice and clean, which is good. Um, and yeah, looking forward to the race. You know, it's going to be an interesting one. It's pretty hot, uh, and there's a couple of cars in front of us which we're surprised about. So it should be interesting, I think. Okay, mate. Good luck and stay out of that wall. And we'll see you later. And we're back to Steve. 